listen to the adventure on Pumlet on W4CY Radio. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with... Pipe A. Houston. I'm Miles. I'm Lane. Nice. Here at Louder Than Life. So how's it feel, man? Cool festival, Dude, right? Dude, we're just it's so sad. stoked to be here. It's yeah. been, a, been a wild day. So many good bands here. So so tell us about your day, then. How's it been? You said it's been wild. Yeah, tell no, us. it's so. been good. I mean, for us, like, any, you know, for the show days, we always kind of just wake up, like, ready to like hit it ready to kind of go and so then you know just getting in and like doing the whole thing getting the setups done and all that stuff and checking out the other bands on the stage and all that and yeah and then just you know getting to kind of do the show and it's just like i mean it's so much fun it's been a ton of fun the show was kick ass we had a lot of fun so, nice yeah, yeah. Really good. nice crowd too yeah. huh yeah yeah really, really no good. it was cool does that kind of shock you in the like a first day earlier you know usually you're like mm, i don't know if i'll have a crowd but here you guys were packed yeah yeah, no, really exciting. It, it's super cool, and it's super cool that people are just like coming and checking out music, and, and especially like new bands. You know what I mean? It's really cool that people are still getting into new bands. So and that's obviously good for us. Yeah, I think it's humbling to be here with not that much out yet and see people checking it out and being curious, and it's it's a really humbling thing. And I think to me, that's what festivals are about. Is I always find the new bands that I like at a festival. Yeah, you know, there's people out there like. Oh, I only came to Larry and Life because I want to go see Bring Me to Rising. Totally. And I love Bring Me to Rising, but go see their concert if that's the only band you want to see. Yeah. Go see, check out everybody because you never know who your new favorite band would be like you guys. It's definitely really fun to, oh, to be at festivals and just playing with a bunch of other bands on the same stage. And it's like there's a drummer sound checking and then I just look over and I'm like, who the fuck is that sounds insane. And yeah. then all of a sudden there's a band on where I have, would never have checked them out, but then I'm listening to them two days later, you know, and it's, nice. it's a really cool community to be in. So Check. let's explain to the listeners a little bit about your music, like yeah. not from a genre standpoint, but from you guys as an artist, how you would describe your music. Yeah, I mean, I think for us it's just, you know, rock music, crazy rock music mainly, you know, I think like no... For us, we've never been about like putting you know boundaries or anything on like oh this genre that genre like we just make rock music and we like doing it and you know that's trying to keep it as loud as possible and crazy as possible. Yeah. The album was really just born out of uh, trying to make as much of a ruckus as possible and just feeling insane and just trying to write songs that reflected that you know so it's exciting to have it all done and be putting it out now. I think that's what music is about anyway, making a ruckus, you know, like yeah. getting your voice out there, getting your message out there and, and doing it loudly. Yeah, yeah totally. no, 100%. I think for us also just like, especially nowadays, like with it just, things are so crazy that like for us, we were just sort of like, how do we like reflect this? You kind of, or just like reflect how it's making us feel, you know what I mean? And I think that's really what music is is and is for, is just like, how, do, how does it make you feel, you know? There's yeah. definitely a lot of things to sing about nowadays, isn't there? It's like, I didn't think we'd be here like, you know, back in the 80s, there was a lot of shit to talk about. I thought in 2022, there would be a lot less to talk about in that way. And it's like worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. No, so it's cool to just try and make, I love making music that makes you feel crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? There you so. go. Well, yeah. this is where we can let it all out, everything that bothers us, and at the same time getting pumped up, and yeah. that's what it should be about. I think especially with a live show, it, even if there's a band that I like, yeah. if they just get up there and play, and that's about it, and they're not, you can tell they're not even into right. it. Yeah. Like, it's like, that's no fun for me. I want yeah. people to get crazy, and if the artists get crazy, the people listening get yeah. crazy. Absolutely. No, and that's, that's kind of one of the things, actually, like one of our, the, 
we just put out the second single from our project called The Middle and like the thing I kind of always said to myself about that is that that song is just kind of like a, a big like F you to whoever, just whoever, whatever's making you mad, do you know what I mean? And then every time when it comes around in the set list, I sort of like, I remind myself of that and I sort of just like, it, I get to feel, you know, like we're talking about is that it's about like getting to feel something and like that song for me is like super cool like that. So I always like that in the set. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So who do you want to see most here at Louder Than Life or did you see them already? We're really excited to see Nine Inch Nails tonight. Whoa, yeah, that's gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna be that's good. That's a. They are a very influential act for me for a long time. So, and I got to see them with Soundgarden, really like eight to ten years ago. Wow, that yeah, was an amazing show for me. So, well, I can so really tell tell you that I saw them last week. And yeah, they were, and the week before, and like five times in the past two months. Hell yeah, you will not be disappointed. I'm stoked. It doesn't even get old, man. Like I. I'll see them every week. It, it, like there's some bands like, okay, I saw them, that's good. Yeah. And then there's Nine Inch Nails where it's like, I'm there. And, it, and, and like it's a show too, you know? It's like a, like a thing. You yeah. know, it's not just like bands performing or something like that. It's like this like thing you're watching, yeah. No doubt, 100%. I think there's a big difference with bands like that and a lot of bands where what you see live and what you listen to. There's a lot of bands that I didn't like till I saw them live and then yeah. it's like, holy shit. Right. You know, or I didn't know about. Bring Me to Horizon. First time I heard of them was seeing them live. I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. And now they're like my top five. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. That's how it should be. Yeah. yeah. Great. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's why people have to get out live music. And that's what sucked about the past couple of years. Like, how the fuck in this world, with all the craziness going on, can we eliminate live music? Yeah. Like, we need it. That's yeah. therapy. Yeah, I think that's why people are a bunch of assholes now, personally. <laughs> well, it's back now. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> and you can testify it's back bigger than ever. Like, Definitely. You know, Hell yeah. 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 I think everybody appreciates it more, too, even the artists. Yeah, You definitely. know, because sometimes the artists, they were on the hamster wheel, and it's like, this is getting old yeah. until it was taken away. Exactly. Yeah, so what you got going on after this? Yeah, after this, we're, we're doing Aftershock as well, which we're super excited Ooh, about. I'll be and there yeah, too. that and ACL in Austin, we're both super excited about. Just did a string of dates with the Melvins opening for them. Wow, uh, that's yeah, cool. Through California yeah. and New Mexico and Arizona and stuff, and that was an absolute blast. Yeah, no, so it's super fun. Off the heels of that, we have our album coming out November 4th, which Ooh, I'm really excited nice. about. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. Let's tell people how they can connect you on social media, on the web, yeah, to be able anywhere, to get the new album. Anywhere you do anything related to the internet, type at Houston will be there. We're, we got Spotify, yeah, Apple, Spotify Music. Apple Music, YouTube, Instagram. Amazon Music, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. what are the other ones? TikTok as well. I was going to say, where's yeah. your TikTok? Dude, yeah, we make yeah. the best TikTok content. We're going to be the next Kate Bush. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So what's your best TikTok? Describe your best TikTok. We have some some ones. Well, I, that like we were talking about that new song, the middle has kind of a, a specific rhythm to it, and you can't you kind of have to headbang to it this one certain way. And so we made some some stuff related to it. it has to be this one certain rhythm for the middle that uh, I, will, I will let people check out because I can't describe it over the uh, over voice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And what's the worst one? The worst one that is still to come. <laughs> we, we are nice. Whatever the next one yeah, is, exactly. how about that? We're, we, there's a, a phrase you can only coast downhill so yeah, yeah you can make yeah. that your goal like yeah. that could be the tiktok here we go this is the worst tiktok ever in the history of tiktok hey it exactly. might go viral if we do that yeah, right exactly so, there you yeah. go yeah exactly Sweet. yeah so did you did you make any tiktoks from up on the stage that not yeah we're still we're still trying to wrap our heads around like the content creation part of all this stuff and just like trying to keep a camera on us everywhere you know what i mean but we're, we're working on it we're getting better at it you know it's been fun it's been very very 2022 so, see yeah. i gave up on trying to do like regular tiktoks i just go into pits yeah and, and get crazy with the yeah. phone yeah. and that's my tiktok that like, sounds great though that sounds yeah. like we might steal that idea yeah <laughs> yeah so wait i got a good one first of all speaking of bring me to uh, bring oh not bring me a rise it was we can call it mud vein yeah their first show back in 12 years um, and they're doing dig and i was in the middle of the tick in the middle of the pit doing a TikTok, and i got freaking blindsided and it was like oh, watching a slow motion movie for me i'm watching my phone flip up in the air 
and it's like twirling and lands Holy on the shit. ground. And then the pit's still going. They step on it, and I dove on the ground to grab it. Holy shit. And I pick it up, and it's still filming. Holy and you can shit. hear it getting stepped on in the pit. That's it was great. Crazy. You know, that sounds awesome. crazy. Yeah. And then last week, I was at the original Misfit show. Oh, man. And dope. we have the, we got pull it up here, the TikTok from that. Hold on. Here we go. TikTok inbound. Okay, we'll pro we don't want that. Yeah. We want this. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, people, we're watching the Pipe Man Radio TikTok inside a Misfits pit. Oh, a Ride Fest, too. Yeah. Oh, man. Hell yeah. You can tell I am. You really are definitely in, the pit. in a pit. I was going to say, dude, that is. You're definitely wow. in a pit. <laughs> yeah. It was epic. That is yeah. insane. There you go. Yeah. So. Next time, maybe that at might be the best shock. TikTok I've ever seen. I have to be honest. I love yeah. it. So That's maybe great. at AfterShock, I'll have to arrange my interview so I can go into your pit and do the same. Dude, please, do. please do it. I think yeah. I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, please. exactly. That'll be amazing. Yeah, I love it. So, any other things you want to share with our listeners that we haven't covered yet? They they need to know. I don't think so. We're really excited to share our music. Yeah, so. sharing the music. I mean, one of the things I'm excited about is Miles does a bunch of guitar on the, the record, and that isn't reflected live, but I'm excited for people to check out his guitar playing because that's very exciting for me. You know what I mean? It's going to be so, fun. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And I can't wait for the new music. Everybody's got to go check it out, and everybody's got to buy your merch because that's the only way artists survive. Thank Definitely. you. We appreciate that. Please do. Please we have stuff that. on our website. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Can't wait to see it at yeah. Aftershock, and I definitely, I'll have yeah. to keep my word and go in your pit and, and like, do a TikTok. Yes, please, please do. do. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man on W4CY Radio.